Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about something that I think is in the near horizon and incredibly likely for America in 2025 most likely and that is the reinstatement of the military draft. Now before I get the comments of this is a conspiracy, um, I don't do conspiracy theories on this channel. Everything I do I come from an objective reality standpoint. What I'm going to be doing in this video guys is showing you all the signs and everything happening in America, be it policy, by our government, and around the world, that when we start critically thinking and looking at it holistically, it starts to be really obvious that this is about to happen, right? This And this video is really a culmination of three of my prior videos. These, if you wanna give those a watch, they all kind of build into this, all right? Now, um, I get a, I've done a, a video on some changes to the draft before, and a very common comment is, this will never happen in America. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, you're very short-sighted, and you must not know anything about American history, okay? Uh, in just the lifetime of people who, still are, who are still alive, America has used the draft in World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam conflict, and most people didn't know that we were that close to reinstating the military draft in the early 2000s of the global war on terror. Okay, that's almost four times in the lifetime of one person that America has used the draft. So for you to think that Miller America would never use the draft again, like an amazing ostrich head in the sand, okay? Uh, again, what we're going to do here, we're going to look at all of the things, and a lot of these things are separate, but I think they all tie together. And by the end of this video, I think you guys are going to... Look at this too and go, shit, this is pretty obvious what's about to happen. Okay, so let's talk about the signs that sort of point towards America about to reinstate the draft. Okay, there's a bunch of them, right? So number one, the obvious one, did a whole video on this, Congress making changes to the draft, okay? If you guys didn't know, I have a whole video on this, but Congress went and pushed forward legislation that made changes to the draft that made the draft automatic registration, um, which for those of you who didn't know, didn't used to be that way. You actually used to have to uh, sign up and enlist basically into your name into the draft, selective service. Um, and if there was a draft, then you were then called upon. What is done now is essentially that it's automatic registration. So you got a social security number, as soon as you turn 18, you're just literally eligible for the draft. Most people said, well, this didn't really change anything, not a big deal. Okay, maybe, but why is Congress making changes to the draft out of nowhere, okay? When we start to think about that, and then we start to transpose all of these things we're going to talk about, oh, they're probably making changes to the draft because they're getting ready to use it, okay? Now, next one, this one's kind of obvious of what's happening too, right? They're starting to make a lot of waivers um, to allow people in the service. The biggest one recently, if you haven't seen, and that is that uh, AIDS is AIDS and HIV is no longer a um, basically a banned condition from military service. So they are letting people serve with HIV and AIDS. Whether you agree with that or not, I don't really care. But the point is, well, that's like one of the most serious conditions you could possibly have. So if they're going to allow that, they're going to start allowing anything to come through the door, okay, medically. All right. So you have to pay attention to what they're doing. All right. The government and the people who are in control, the elites, they tell us what they're gonna do before they do it, guys, if you just pay attention, all right? So again, changes to recruitment policies, allowing a lot more things to get in, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, why that's gonna be important if they actually enact the draft, all right? So next one, and this is probably the most obvious, look at the world, <laughs> guys. There's massive wars all over the world right now, okay? Ukraine, Russia is the huge one. Two basically first world nations at war. Hundreds of thousands of people have been killed. NATO potentially versed the axis of Russia, China, Iran. That is potentially spiraling out of control. That's not even including what's going on in Israel, okay? That conflict, hundreds of thousands of people dying. Iran, Lebanon, Turkey, all about to potentially invade Israel, okay? All of these things are going to pull America into the war, which, as we'll get into a few of these other signs and symptoms later, we don't have the troops to go fight these wars. So how are we gonna do it? Draft, all right? Now, um, 
what's really important too, and that's not even to talk about, we didn't even mention right there, China invading Taiwan, which is a definite real possibility um, coming up in the next couple of years, right? So World War III essentially breaking out. How are we gonna fight World War III? Well, it ain't gonna be with the Manning we have right now, okay? So wake up, pay attention. Next, and this one's really important, guys, and that is the bipartisan support for war in America, okay? Um, if you haven't paid attention, when it comes to war and sending hundreds of billions of dollars to foreign countries on behalf of the military industrial complex, both Republicans and Democrats are lockstep, okay? They vote together, it always goes through. Why is that? Hmm, there's a lot of self-enrichment in Congress and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, but you have to pay attention. For those of you who think one side winning or the other is gonna stop something like the military draft, guys, they are lockstep when it comes to policy like this. So what they do is they distract Americans with social issues that make us so divided, right? Abortion, gun rights, all these things, while the things that matter to them, which is things for the pocket, they make sure they vote on lockstep together, which war is one of those things, be it every conflict that's happened, of course, both sides have agreed through some type of patriotism lens, okay? Now, um, again, there's a lot of signs and symptoms of everything happening at once, right? Next one, uh, the majority of our Navy is now deployed into the Middle East. And the last time that ha this happened was right before the global war on terror started. So why is pretty much our entire Navy posturing itself in the Middle East, okay? Obviously we're looking at Iran, uh, Israel, that conflict potentially going on, but that's just, again, all of these things maybe by themselves, not that big of a deal. When we start adding them all up together, we're obviously preparing for large scale war, okay? And I'm gonna show you a clip here in this next one of the Sergeant Major of the Army literally saying this, okay? So um, let's check this clip out and we can talk about what he says here. This is actually one of my prior videos as well. Let's, let's watch. Now, the truth though is we need those numbers to be higher in the upcoming years because we actually need to grow the army based off that global environment we talked about at the very beginning, right? And so this isn't, you know, time for balloons and streamers and, and, uh, and celebration. All right, so with this, guys, this is a huge, huge component to potentially needing the draft. Why? As I talked about in this, in this last video that I made of that clip, uh, the U.S. military missed recruiting numbers by 40-something thousand, I don't remember the exact number, 42,000 maybe, 40-something uh, thousand troops in 2023. Most likely going to miss numbers by tens of thousands of troops in 2024. Those issues start compounding, okay? When you're short 40 plus thousand soldiers year after year after year, and you're not filling back up the force as people get out, massive implications to that, okay? And like he says in that clip, what we just talked about, war potentially spanning all over the world, we need to grow the army, right? Well, there's a massive recruiting crisis. Nobody's joining the military. How are we gonna grow the military uh, when nobody will join? Oh, I know the perfect, the perfect way to do that. Let's enact the draft, okay? So again, more signs and symptoms. All right, next one. This one is, a little, is I'd like to say this is a conspiracy, but it's not because they say it out loud. And if you watch the World Economic Forum, what do they talk about? That we need to depopulate the planet of human beings, okay? So how, what is a great way to depopulate the planet? Well, World War III is a great way. When you start involving modern weaponry, nuclear weapons, all these things, billions of people could die from that. Okay, so, right, another one. Would be America be involved in World War III? Of course, okay. Uh, next, this one is the one that's probably the most pervasive and what's going to cause it, and that is um, military industrial complex profiteering, okay? Uh, if you look, <laughs> I've done videos on this. If you just look at over the last one year, all of the military industrial stocks, okay? They've all like up 50 to 100% in a year, okay? Why are people in the know, politicians, elites, bankers, all these things, why are they dumping trillions of dollars into military industrial complex stocks? Hmm. Maybe because we're about to use a lot of those military industrial complex 
weapons, right, and systems to go to war, to a, a world war potentially, right? So tons and tons of money is being dumped into these military industrial complex stocks right now, okay? You need to pay attention. The people in the know, right, they are ahead of the curve. In the stock market, they're six months forward looking, okay? So what does that mean? Well, potentially six months from now, a lot of money to be made from these military industrial complex stocks, right? Now, and also the politicians in charge who send your sons and daughters to war are the ones that are pumping the most money into all these stocks, okay? Go figure, right? They do not have the best interest for you or your family in mind. They have no problem sending your sons and daughters to go die in a foreign war. They've been doing it for a hundred years. They will continue to do it, okay? Don't be naive, please. Now, yeah, that's a lot of signs and symptoms, okay? All these things together, um, you know, recruitment crisis, nobody's joining, wars are all over the place, changes to the military draft, ad nauseum starting to become pretty obvious, okay? Now, what's it actually gonna look like if they instate the draft, all right? There's a lot of misconceptions about this. And the third part of this video is literally gonna be shoring up misconceptions because I've seen them all in my comment section from the military draft video, all right? Now, again, what's it gonna look like in America? Well, it's gonna be bipartisan. They're gonna have bipartisan support. They're gonna have to do it. How have they done it before? Eh, patriotism, false flag, whatever you want to call it, right? The Korean War, the fear of communism, right? Patriotism, got to go fight those wars. Same as same thing as Vietnam. We can't let communism spread. Global war on terror, how do we do it? Islamic terrorism, right? We can't let Islamic terrorism spread. Patriotism, get your sons and daughters to war, okay? They're very, very good at this, all right? Same thing with Ukraine. How do we fund $100 billion to Ukraine? Convince the American people that big bad Russia is bullying a sovereign nation, right? They fool you into rallying behind some cause that's all bs just to dump trillions of dollars into their pockets okay so um it will be bipartisan that becomes a problem later for those of you who think there's going to be some uprising in america when they enact the draft okay i can tell you right now there won't be for a bunch of reasons why now um yeah also a big one um who gets elected okay i'm not going to go deep into this uh i think there's nuance to all this but, uh, and I'm not gonna say names here because then the video will just get demonetized and shadow banned, but um, if the current administration basically wins, you can basically guarantee that this is gonna happen. Why? And not necessarily any fault of her own, okay? But our adversaries who, look, we're already at massive scale war, uh, potentially with, through proxies, um, they don't, those cultures don't respect women and they don't respect women in authority positions. They are going to use this as an opportunity to, try to, um, you know, press their luck and accomplish things that they really want to accomplish. You know, China invading Taiwan, right? Russia and Ukraine. Um, Russia, potentially, if the war gets spread out enough, will be able to start, you know, and funding dries up in Ukraine, probably start winning that war. Uh, obviously, Iran wants Israel to not exist, okay? So, um, we will get tested, right? And the response to these countries deciding to do these things, okay? She's not gonna be able to, if, you know, not respond. Why? Because then she'll look weak and fragile. She's gonna have to posture and boisterous. She's a tough, tough lady, right? And then she's gonna send everybody to die in a foreign conflict, okay? That's reality of most likely what's gonna happen, okay? So you can get pissed about that if you want, but if you've got a child, probably ages 16 to 30, um, you should be very, very smart about who you vote for, okay? Because, you know, if your kid gets something off to war, you can look back on this video and go, huh, well, whoops, maybe that wasn't very smart of me to do, okay? So, because the media told me to vote for somebody I shouldn't have. Now, uh, moving on from that, this is because this is not gonna be a political video, but it is reality, right? So, um, let's talk about misconceptions of what happens if there is a draft, okay? I, my comment section on the draft video, Oh, it's uh, it's funny, okay, to me, right? Uh, let's, let's just talk about some of the things I see the most common, okay? Uh, this one, super common, it'll never happen here. It'll never happen in America. Like, like I talked about earlier, uh, American history in the last, like, 80, 90 years, it's already happened three times, almost four times, okay? It's, that is not, a, that's like one of the most ostrich, like, head in the sand, takes that I hear, guys, it's so likely, um, and again, it, it just, it keeps happening, and 
you know, like the saying is, history doesn't necessarily repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme. Well, American history in the last hundred years really rhymes when it comes to foreign interventionalism, right? Now, this is the next biggest one, probably the most common, which makes me just laugh, and that is, oh, I'll move to Canada, right? Like, and, or, or my sons and daughters, we're moving to Canada. Okay, guys, this isn't the Vietnam War. I don't, I don't know if you understand who's in charge in Canada, okay? Uh, they basically have a communist dictator in charge. If you think you are going to uh, flee to Canada with the current administration in charge, which, be, let me be very clear about this, America and Canada have joint extradition agreement. What does that mean? If you break a law in America, Canada is required to ship your happy ass back to America, and you can be sure the current Canadian administration will ship every single one of you who flee back to this administration. There's a 100% chance of that. You are not escaping to Canada, okay? You better choose somewhere else, and you better leave before the draft gets enacted, or else you ain't getting nowhere, right? So that is super silly. Get that out of your mind if you think that's going to work for you. Not this time, hombre. Now, the next one, society will revolt. American society will revolt? Really? Do, do we forget how we reacted to COVID and lockdowns and having all our freedoms taken away? Nobody did jack shit about it, okay? You think people are gonna riot and society is gonna revolt against the government because of a military draft? You are high, okay? The media will be working overtime, right? With all the patriotism and false flag and rah, rah, rah. Okay, there will be there will be protests here and there like there was in Vietnam. There will be no wide scale societal revolt. Americans are too lazy, okay? And the ones who don't get drafted won't give a shit. So no, that is fantasy land. Not gonna happen, right? Uh, the other one, parents, my sons and daughters never let my sons and daughters go to war. You don't have a fucking choice, <laughs> okay? If you don't realize this, they put your ass in prison for not going. And they did it to Vietnam to thousands of people, okay? The already, government already proved they'll do it. And guess what society did about that? Nothing. Jack shit, okay? So if you if you want your kids to go to prison instead, that's your choice, all right? But they're going to do one of the other, right? You're not escaping to Canada, right? Your kids are going to get drafted. Point blank, okay? Realize that. Now, um, this is the biggest one now, and I think it's hilarious, okay? And that is, in Gen Z, all the Gen Zs are, well, I could never get drafted because I've got anxiety, and I've got ADHD, and I've got PTSD, and I've got uh, shin splints, and I've got asthma, and i got this. If World War III kicks off, they won't give a shit about any of those. They will make those all qualifying. They won't, they're not going to care about your ADHD. You got ADHD? Cool. You're hypertension. We'll put you on the front line. You'll be great in the infantry. Okay? That's, no, I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to laugh at you, of those of you who made these comments, but, like, it's so naive for you to think that uh, that any of these issues are going to stop you from being drafted when the entire world's at war. Okay? Everybody's going. Look at Ukraine. Like, every swinging dick male basically got pulled into that fight. No matter who you were. All right, and most likely in America, women, I want you to understand this, all right? They're already talking about it with changes to the draft. You most likely, they will most likely make these changes, are going to get drafted too. Why? Well, you got a feminist president, all right? Women and men are the same thing. You're going to get drafted as well, okay? So you should probably think about who you're voting for as well, okay? For your own, you know, uh, your own future as it is now, right? So again, if, and, and I hate to burst people's bubbles, but the reality is when a draft happens, and I say when, because I think in maybe if we're lucky, it doesn't happen in 2025, next few years with the state of the world, um, things aren't gonna get better, okay? They're, they're gonna get a whole lot worse before they can get better. Military draft is almost guaranteed, I think, from my perspective. It's hard to look at all of these things and go, no, we'll probably be fine, okay? I mean, I love for you, if you can sit in that mental space with the world burning down around us and, and just be content to think, like, nothing bad will happen in America. I love that for you, okay? It's probably a very peaceful existence. Um, it's, it's not real, but, you know, awesome. So, 
Um, keep in mind, if the draft happens, like your sons and daughters most likely will get drafted. They will go to war. And that's the reality of it, okay? Or they can go to prison. Here's the thing I want you guys to understand. Um, they are going to make an example out of the first group of draft dodgers. Really, really make an example, okay? They're going to make you... They're making you, you're, you're going to be a felon. Most likely they're going to charge you with treason, something crazy. They're going to give you 20, 30 years life in prison. They're going to do that, that to the first batch of draft dodgers, which basically is going to uh, terrify anyone from potentially doing it, right, in the future. That's the way they're going to handle this, okay? They're going to make sure you don't have the opportunity to avoid it, okay? So, again, future is going to be interesting. I wanted to make this video because... Uh, Guys, we're two months away from an election, and the world is literally on fire. Multiple countries at war, large-scale war, hundreds of thousands, millions of people, excuse me, millions of people dying from war around the world. Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, let's open our eyes a little bit, get our cr critical thinking caps on. Again, if you think all the things I told you here today are conspiracy theory, awesome, man. Like, good on you. But, like I said, with all these signs, these are all things happening in America and the world right now. So, honestly, I pray this doesn't happen, guys. I went and fought wars, and I can tell you 98% of people are not ready uh, to fight a war and be in combat, okay? It's, it's not something you want. It's not something you want for your kids, okay? So, but I think you should be aware, you should be prepared, and uh, yeah, let's... Um, Let's hope in somehow things change course in, in the world and in America, but it sure doesn't look like that's going to be the case. All right, so hope you enjoyed that one, guys, and uh, that's going to do it. Have a good day.